You're listening to The Grind with Chromatics playing the best in TNT music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting her presence for the past few weeks. She is here today. Amy, what are we gonna do? I'm missing who tell them say we did drop out and did flop. I'm missing who tell them say we was ever going to stop. I'm missing who tell them say we not go on the track. I'm missing who me ask you. Get him verse now. Race up, you run and finish. Tell them we ain't to win it. We not gonna sit down, watch our brother jump out last minute. Plenty people ready if you go make some commentary. But me tell them we don't come again when they're ready. Road not easy. All 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 you're listening to the grind. Tell a friend and tell a friend who oh, you are ready done a fam. Our guest today is Amy Shaka Pro. Data. Give them again. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah. I'm missing who tell them say we did drop out and did flop. I'm missing who tell them say we was ever going to stop. I'm missing who tell them say Ooh. we not go on the track. I'm missing who. Me ask you why? Race off, you run and finish Tell them we ain't to win it We not gonna sit down, watch our brother drop out last minute Plenty people ready if you go make some commentary But me tell them we ain't not come again when you're ready Road not easy like Buju teach me We optimistic so them think it easy Like the track we a run just clear and breezy More wild people and demon try beat you But me walk with God so me ready you know uh-huh. Fear anything them a fi fair we you know Tell it. Them boy know enough for dare we you know At all Boy enough for dare we you know uh. Me walk with God so me ready you know Ready Fear anything them a fi fair we you know Ready me is a winner and that them finna Yeah And me say who tell them say We need drop out and then And me say who tell them say We was ever going to stop And me say who tell them say Can't stop a child We never up on the track And me say who Give them second verse now Me ask you Why not? Be strong in the Lord, run like a guan win You know that the end is better than the beginning So, run out like in the name of the spring That's a boy face and that's a boy skin Cause them disbelieve, we never did believe We them, they chat too much, now them live you see we We know the race, so it even easy But me run after the king, so best believe I mean, back with God, so me ready, you know Say anything, them have to fail, you know Yo, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to the grind the one, the only, Amy. It's spelled A M I. Yes. Right? <laughs> very nice, very nice. The track that you just heard is called Run. If you want to go back and listen to it at some point in time, right? Mm. Run. That's that's the name of it, yeah, right? Run. And it's on our rhythm, I believe. Top notch rhythm. Top notch rhythm. Nice, nice. Shout out to our sister Evangelica. You know what I mean? That is our sister. Shaka might not know um, yeah. how close we are to her. But anyway, it's all about Amy right now. Amy, sister. So. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give them a backstory on how I got introduced to your music. Um, I saw an Instagram promoted post actually, right? Yeah. Um, and I was like, Yo, who is this girl spitting, yo? Like just the flow and, and the lyrics just really impressed me. Yeah. You know what I mean, which goes a lot to, to, to say to younger and upcoming artists in terms of Instagram promotion and social media promotion. And then off of that, I got introduced to the rest of me. I believe did I message you and tell you the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I believe you sent me this and a couple others. So so tell the world, everybody who's locked on on the grind, Trinidad and Tobago, who Amy is. You know, what I mean, where, 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 right before that, where you're hailing from? Safaria. Real far. Yeah. Safaria. <laughs> <laughs> Safaria. Right. And your introduction to music. Another question: How old are you? If you mind me asking, my mother said me is not to ask ladies the age, but <laughs> I just turned eighteen in June. Eighteen? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so how long have you been doing music, writing music, and really got introduced? To it? Just, just give us your story, your grind. Um. So I've always been exposed to old school dancer and reggae growing up because of my uh, my brother mm-hmm. and. <coughs> I went to a Catholic school, so every Monday was mask, and I also went to church, so music was all around. It's either Monday in um, Catholic school, um, Wednesday and Sunday in church, and home with my brother. And um, it, like, I couldn't escape from music. So in Form Three, God blessed me with the gift of songwriting. Mm. I take it, I run with it. So anytime I got bored, I would sit down and write a song, go on YouTube, start to write a song. And um, in Form Three as well, I 
discovered tronics and that just opened up a whole new world for me mm. yeah when i when i came across this music and it had this one day i was writing a song i believe in late form three or early form four and like i found so much joy and pleasure in writing i realized i love what i'm doing mm. right and when i was in form three i wanted to be a professional footballer and a journalist Cheers. me who do even like to talk <laughs> want to be a journalist but <laughs> when i reached in, in late form four early form five i checked myself and i say but i don't even love talking i don't love journalism i don't love football but i like it but i love music so at that yeah. point i decided that i wanted to be an artist and then at that same time too coffee came on the scene i think i started to um follow her when i was in like early form four so like all those stuff how long coffee oh no you're saying early form four like if you know like it was so long ago <laughs> that was like three well three, three years, years ago that's three so long years coffee years ago. Out? Yeah. yeah okay 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 yeah. so what you know boss you know, yeah yeah so you say yeah. you, you would say that that gave you some sort of inspiration seeing a, a, a female artist young spitting them kind of rhymes those yeah, kind of vibes that but encouraged you me encourage you to go down yeah. that lane you know but you already influenced from old school dance or yeah. reggae and things from yeah. before that nice 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 so then tell us now uh, oh, from writing now you said something you say god bless you with the gift to write right explain that to me how was your did you write your first song it was where did you say all right i want to write a tune you know what um, I mean? When, when was if you can you can you pinpoint it? Because it was just the other day. You only eighteen. Go try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. The first song I wrote was a remix of Bob Marley. Serious. Um. Which tune? Birds, and I used the chorus. Don't worry. Da, 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 and I think I wrote um. Never worry, cause Jesus Christ is coming now, and He's bringing all the bigger blessings now. He never fail, and He never never fail. Let me bring this to you again and again. That was probably. I can't remember when that was, but when I was in Form Three, that's when I started to become interested in songwriting out of the blue, mm-hmm. and like it was natural for me, like you know. So you say you know you get you get this message or, 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 or urgent to say let me try it for, yeah. for myself. You know yeah, I mean? right. yeah, okay. and from there the rest is history. Yeah, yeah, I'm I today. <laughs> All right, no doubt. So tell us about, of course, every song that we've. I believe every song that we've played so far has been produced by the gentleman to your left. Shaka um, Pro. Shaka Pro. You know what I mean? So tell us how did that, um, you know, that link end up coming about? Um, I had a r- written a song called Prodigy and posted to my um, Instagram and he reached out to me, but I didn't know that it was my actual cousin who sent it to him. Mm. And he reached out and he said that he is interested in working with me and stuff like that. And we met up and yeah, we meet up and that was it. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Shaka, uh, say something now. You can pass the mic to Shaka, you know what I mean? So t- tell Does us I about want that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it's, it, it, it is about Amy, but as I said before, like all the production that we've heard yeah, so far yeah, has, yeah, been, yeah, yeah, has yeah. been your stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, t- so tell us about, you know, that when you first heard her and then mm. what, what you really heard in her and that made you want to work with her, you know? All right. Well, to be honest, when, I'm, when her cousin sent me the, the video mm-hmm. and I listened to the video and I was like, this coffee. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and the first thing that came to me, I said, okay. but, but it's coffee. Uh-huh. But I said, but I like it. It's not to say that, you know, uh, you know some knockoff artist does, doesn't hit, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. one hits in what? Mm-hmm. So I said, right, I reach out to her, I say, yeah, but um, yeah, we um, meet up, like, we discuss and stuff like that. And when I, when she came in studio, right, um, I told her, yeah, what? let me hear what you have live. I want to hear her live. Mm-hmm. Right, so I play a bit, and she take a song that she write before, and she sing on it, and I was like, wait. Mm. I can't let this opportunity just slip and go and you never know where she you know what would happen now. Right. Next thing you know she gave up her dream, you know, because she yeah. you know True. so I say yeah, what I would um uh, I made a proposal, I say well um I would sign yeah. Mm-hmm. Right and I would do all the music, everything. Mm-hmm. Right and we will out an agreement after but I want to get her out there and that was it. But when um she actually started to do music with me now, I started to hear Amy more than coffee. Mm. Yeah. Right, yes. right. So that is Definitely. what I'm more invested in now, Amy. Yeah, because uh, that is, f- yeah. <laughs> like me, I am just a proponent for local music, dog. So from the time I hear Sistrin, I start to share your music with everybody. I was like, yo, all I hear this girl, all I hear this girl, boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. And I said, like, yes, 
there will be comparisons mm -hmm. to coffee because of your age, because you're a lady, because you're spitting, how you're spitting. I'm nothing wrong with that. But yeah. as, as Shaka did say, you know, I do, I do, I could say there will be comparisons, but it's not like you're copycatting. You, you, you yeah. got, this is your talent and it's also your passion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely. We got Amy in the building, right? And Shaka Pro. You just heard one song from her. We got five joints. You know what I mean? We actually really have six, but I line up five. You know, we might not even play all five. We probably play four. But I want to get into this one. We going. We going to get into the music. Then we're gonna come back. There's our guest in the studio, Amy Shaka Pro. Are here. I want to get into this one, Trav. This one is called "Make I Tell You." Oh, Amy is our guest. This is the grind. I'm gonna make Amy sing. Oh, she's about to sing here today. No, let me go. Ladies and gentlemen, Amy live on the grind. Too big or small, nothing impossible. No mountain short or tall, nothing my God can do. Oh, nothing too big or small, nothing impossible. No mountain short or tall, nothing my God can do. Oh, make I make I tell you, oh my God, oh, biggie 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 God, oh yeah, make I make I tell you, oh my God, oh. Oh my god, oh Biggie, 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 god, oh yeah Make it, make it, tell you, oh my god Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the sounds of Amy live right here on The Grind, the best in TNT music. Amy and Shaka Pro are our guests today, Travi Bubbly Day. Yeah, so... I want to get into something, and um, I've been waiting to have artists and, and producers and people like yourself on the program. For those who have been hearing and listening to the young lady, it is um, is it gospel that you sing? <laughs> All right, is it, the, the, is it gospel music that you make? I mean, I just make music, and it does be about God. So, if mm -hmm. that answer the question, no, because I. I'm, is it's weird for me. I've seen a lot of things happen over the career and, and especially in gospel now, right? Like really incredible quote unquote reggae music, dance or music, whatever, within the gospel arena. Yeah. And I find sometimes <laughs> the gospel community just kinda keep it here now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to me, that message is supposed to spread out now. Mm. And yeah. the fight between secular and non-secular and all of that, yeah, 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 yeah. I find, yeah. come on, it's music we're making and it's very uplifting music. And, it, and the world need to hear it. And Trinidad and Tobago need to hear it. So, yeah, I mean, exactly, it's where, really lost. Yeah, well, so, so where do you stand on that? I mean, I, you, you just said, you don't, you don't really put it in the category of gospel. Or, or what, how do you see your music, you know? Or your message, rather? Um, my message is mainly based on the truth mm. and is really to inspire and encourage people specifically young people and that's about it mm. i don't i don't want i don't want to like class myself like a reggae artist a dancer artist it's music mm -hmm. it's just True. music right. and the message will speak for itself okay but shaka but you too you but i think from my yeah. no but you tell me what, what your sort of you know your opinion on that this this um, observation that i have well, what you were saying was true um when whenever you hear gospel music you, you think you know you can't do this you can't do that you can't mm -hmm. sing more this you can't sing more that you can't mention this you can't mention that but i am um, i am a producer mm -hmm. i heard that 
that is, is a child of God, mm-hmm. right? Yes. I am a, a artist as a child of God. Um, I don't personally um, say confine myself as a gospel artist because I, I would want to sing a love song mm-hmm. or want to produce a love song. Mm-hmm. I might do a little wine and jam a little soca or something, you know, but right. at the end of the day, music is business. Right. right? But um, that, that is my stand. I mean, I sing and I produce. Well, producing is more of my job. Right, it's yeah. not it's not really a personal thing. It's there's a service I provide, so I do music. When it comes to me as an artist, mm-hmm. I am um, I just sing about as she said the truth. I sing about what people could relate to, mm-hmm. and and yeah, that's that just me. So I I don't call myself a gospel artist or a gospel producer. I'm a producer as a Christian or thing. Yeah, that, that just me. Okay, good. All right, all right, I just wanted to make sure, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Because we hear a common we create we hear a common thread in your music, you know, which is the Lord and, 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 and you know, giving thanks and praises, but also, you know, realizing certain things if you listen to the daughter lyrics, right? Because we could get into this tune there called Dollar. You know what I mean? And, and give them an example, where is it? Dollar? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Trav, let's get into it. Amy is our guest in the studio. Shaka Pro is alongside her. What we gonna do again? Amy live in concert on the grind, you know? my brother. Bread stuck in no It's It's all about the grind. My brother, don't even bother. You go see the dollar. Bread stuck in no Oh my brother, don't even bother. You go see the dollar bread stacking up with cheddar One time for the nation Blessings flowing down in abundance Me I feel thank God for the guidance Now this is your time if you shine now One time for the nation Freedom for your time in the dungeon No shackles no longer for your down Step out and run into your freedom One time for the my brother Don't even bother you go see the dollar bread stacking up with cheddar. One time, oh my right. brother, don't even bother. <laughs> you go see the dollar bread stacking up with cheddar. Ladies and gentlemen, Amy is on the ground. One time for the nation. You've been sad, you've been low, low. Telling all your dreams, no, no. Running right through the door, door like, ooh, na, ooh, na. I just want you to know, no, your time is coming short, short. Just hold on a little longer. It must come true, my brother. Uh-huh. Don't even bother. You go see the color bread stacking up with cheddar. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the sounds of Amy. And you are tuned in to... You're listening to the grind. The grind. The grind. Uh-huh. ask you a question. Is it first radio interview? You see oh, you did a few before. You I don't know, I agree. Yeah. First radio. Yeah. First radio, okay, very well. Very well, I feel proud. <laughs> Boom Tong, DJ Travis, should feel proud. Right? Amy is our guest. If you're now tuning in, Shaka Pro. Right? So, um, what 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 is like, you know... The goal. So, see, well, before that, how was it linking up you from your perspective with Shaka? You know what I mean? And, and, and when you started to connect the kind of music that you were making, you know, how you felt about it? About the music I was currently doing at that time? Yeah, no. Well, when you linked up with them, what was the experience like, you know? Oh, it, 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 it was natural. Mm-hmm. It was almost natural. It felt like I already met Shaka before. Mm-hmm. I, 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 blah, blah. Mom to me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like I had met him before. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it was natural. It's like, he know what he is doing. I know what I am doing. And it's like, complimentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it still is now. Okay. Very good, very good. So, um, how long now you have been working together? Since about um, October last year. So not even a year yet, and you've been grinding out tunes. So any 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 works of an album or EP or that sort of vibes, they all just mashing singles. Yeah, singles for now. Singles yeah. for now. Water creator footprint. Very good, very good, very good. So I guess so. I guess you wouldn't have like had the opportunity to really perform live anywhere yet. The only place I went was um next ninety nine. You mean like an event event? Yeah, nah. like an event. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So maybe um 
COVID. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But they're all free everything. Yeah. You know, we might have an event yeah. in December. We might, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, the gra- we might we might do our OUR radio thing so we could get Amy to come and match up the place, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah man. That, that sounds good. That sounds good. But have I met before that, like in school and things, were you performing live? You know, did that like school events and that sort of stuff? Or was it more, was this more sort of your like little personal gift well, before you really started to go out there? I could have always sing. Mm-hmm. Um, in primary school, I used to sing a lot. Like I could recall, like lunchtime, you could say having church. Like I used to be like encouraging my classmates and them to come and sing like the latest gospel songs, like uh, we are a chosen generation and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. That's a positive and stuff like that. Um, in mm-hmm. secondary school though, not much people knew I could sing until form five because my teacher, um. She had called me to sing the anthems on morning, the, the national anthem on mornings. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and then the when I was about to leave school, I think that was like January last year. That's when like almost the whole school was aware that I could sing because um, I had sang toast. And I didn't expect a reaction, but like people went mad because. Yeah, mash up the place, though, don't even try to be humble about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can so be humble about it. In secondary school, it was kind of hush hush. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Alright. So, yeah. And, and, and so, so, so big up in school, what school did you go to? Faisabad Anglican Secondary, known as Faisabad Intermediate or Inter. The fights were quite well. I went to school too. Yes. Serious? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't That's really cool. That's really cool. And then. So, as, as you know, Amy Shaka Pro, they're healing from his south land. So, I mean, what do you hope to achieve? Oh, yeah, yeah. Darling, with, with, with your career, you're young, anything you're now starting. I mean, you, I'm sure you've learned a lot in a little bit of time being with Shaka yeah. as an artist. But what what was your, you know, what do you really hope to achieve out of this? Um, this will be my career, number one, mm-hmm. and I aim to establish myself as an international artist, not just a local artist, but you know, taking the music worldwide international i talk more like burner boy whiskey coffee type of international you know i don't want to place it in a box or limit to myself because if god say i could do anything then why am i going to limit myself that's like a shame to god mm. right and outside of that i just want to genuinely be an inspiration and encouragement to young people i want to be a light in the midst of the darkness and really empower them to chase after their dreams and to live on purpose and not just exist in life Wow. Okay, that was like a great answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you don't want to go in journalism to it, you know? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I good, I good. <laughs> ladies, and gen- <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Amy Shaka Pro. But Alan, as I say, we keep our ears to the ground and, and, and we encourage, you know, young and youthful talent here on the grind. So keep making the music and keep sending music our way. We will yes. definitely showcase and highlight it. Um, usually, typically, as we go, I would ask, you know, our guests to say something to the youths and them, but I think you just did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I want to leave. We want to r- wrap up the interview with this track, Criticize We. Yeah. So featuring Shaka Pro. He's singing now. You're not just making any beat. He's singing with, on the track as well. Yeah. So give us, give us a little information on how this track came about. And of course, just the whole concept, Criticize We. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I had already written this song and I went to studio and I think I had sang this song to him because like normally, like we say we go in studio today and I do a song, I say, hey, I did this song. Oh, you hear this song? And then like mm-hmm. he would be interested and he was and he did the beat for this song and yeah, that's about it. And he was like, I want voice on this. Yeah, yeah, he, um, <laughs> because... So, so, so no, Shaka, uh, what, what, what made, especially this like, so um, you came with the hook, with the chorus? With the whole song. Well, right. yeah, she she wrote this song actually and I was like I um I was listening to the song and I was like, okay, the song good. But the song gritty. It's mm-hmm. it's yeah. something like you know, it needs some kind of harshness on it. So I told mm-hmm. her, Well, um I would do the second verse to so give it a Cause my I just I, even though I sing I sing low and gritty, mm-hmm. so it needed that kind of touch now, that right. masculine. There's <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> a add a add a, a extra element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Amy Shaka Pro. Um, anything else, boy? Anything else I want to ask? You know what I mean? I think we covered we covered a lot. You know what I mean? So as, as I say once again, just keep sending the music. Just keep yeah. making that 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 dope that dope dope music. Um. 
and keep inspiring because I'm sure you know you see in this that that you know they will be inspired, especially your generation. Yeah. And I, I, I want, I want. Well, you need to go down there, boy. I mean, you're, you're from the younger generation, and Trinidad for the past two, three years has been having a wave of music um, that is powered by your age group. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, do you think that? If there's enough balance being placed on on the music because it's, it's a lot of um violent sort of music mm-hmm. you know but at the same time they're used like you a lot of them making yeah. great great music so I, I i just always what we try to do in grind is balance it out you know what i mean and show people that there's so much uh, there's variety in everything we do you know what i mean yeah. is it your opinion on that and you know it, you know Whew, that's a hefty thing yes um You can keep it short and sweet. I know, I know, I know, I know. I hit you. I hit you for six. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hold on. Just now. Add a form. Add a four minute. My thoughts. Uh-huh. I think that the that thing that they need to give people who sing positive music or music that is not necessarily um, violent in nature. Mm-hmm. I, they need to give them equal chance as those who are singing violent music mm-hmm. because they are equally as talented at, as the people who sing violent music but i don't understand why you know the violence is pushed more than the positivity mm-hmm. and people who sing positivity they might feel like you know this is not for me so i give up on it because people ain't giving me a play or something like that so i think they should have more more balance mm-hmm. yeah no doubt no doubt all right so before you go Shout out your people or your family, your friends, locked on. Give them your social medias, how people... Oh, and I wanted to ask you, a- Amy, it's spelled yeah. A-M-I. Yeah. That's your real name? My nickname. Your nickname? Yeah. Okay, we ain't going to get into it. How is your nickname? Unless you, want to, unless you want to put it out there. It don't even have a reason. That's the name that my mother used to call me from since I was small. And uh-huh. like everywhere I go, she would call me Amy and not Naomi. So it used uh-huh. to stick easier with people okay. than Naomi. Right, right, right. Yeah. All right, there you go. So once again, Amy Shaka Pro, give them your socials, you know what I mean? Um, On Instagram, Original Amy, Original A-M-I, Twitter, Original Amy underscore, um, Facebook, Original Amy, and my manager, Shaka Pro, um, Shaka underscore Pro underscore on all socials all right yeah. ladies and gentlemen we want to thank them once again for passing through that's amy shaka pro and it's spelled a-m-i if you don't know right she just gave you all the socials go and follow her now go and subscribe now <laughs> and you could also go and see this song this dope song that was released with the music video and some incredible incredible visuals this track is called criticize we amy shaka pro they have been our guests on the grind the grind